What could you do with an extra 10 hours each week? What would you do with an extra week each month? What goals would you smash with an extra three months each year? The secret you will learn in this video is what helps me stay on top of three businesses while managing to go to the gym three times a week, do loads of content creation, attend weekly classes, travel abroad about five times a year, and even take a whole day off to have fun with my son. As well as giving you a full explanation of this Muslim secret, I'm going to share authentic hadith, a real life example of how this secret helped me reach one and a half million people in three months, a common mistake that I see entrepreneurs make, and finally, a three-step formula for implementing the secret and bringing it to life. The Prophet Muhammad وسلم, made the dua for us. Oh Allah, bless my ummah in their early morning. He also said that whoever prays the Fajr prayer in congregation, then sits and remembers Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala until the sun rises, thereafter offers two units of prayer, he will have the reward of Hajj and Umrah. So what's the secret? The secret is rising early. The Muslim entrepreneur starts the day with Fajr prayer, which begins at dawn and ends at sunrise. We wake up nice and early without fail every single day of the year. When I decided to produce this series on Muslim business secrets, I realized I would have to fit in an extra five hours per week of researching, drafting, scripting, shooting, reviewing. This was going to be a huge challenge because my calendar was already packed and I couldn't see a practical solution that didn't involve removing something else. As I kept staring at my calendar, trying to figure out what to do, I suddenly remembered that the best time, ideally for me to research, study or write something is in the early morning. And that is beautifully in line with the famous dua of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, who asked Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala to bless the mornings for us. Now at that time, Sunrise was around 8 a.m. So I was waking up 7.30 to pray and then I would start my work day around 8. I realized that if I just woke up an hour earlier every day, that would give me seven extra hours each and every week. And they would be very productive hours, full of barakah. I had to adjust my bedtime. I had to struggle a little bit at the beginning. But Alhamdulillah, we managed to do it. And that is how we were able to fit all of that extra work that comes with content creation in a very busy schedule, Alhamdulillah. Now I'm really, really glad we found a way because by God's grace, my content reached one and a half million people in the first three months and has opened incredible new doors. This is why rising early is a powerful Muslim business secret. Now stay with me until the end because I'm going to give you three fabulous steps, very powerful steps to help you gain an extra 10 hours per week of productive time so you can get ahead and stay on top inshallah. Be sure to subscribe if you want to learn more Muslim business secrets with me inshallah. So why is rising early powerful in business. Number one, you get extra productive hours. If instead of waking up at 8 a.m., you start your day at 6 a.m., obviously you get two extra hours of productive time each day. This adds up to 10 hours per week, and then it adds up to 40 hours per month. It's almost like getting an extra week every month. And if you look at it over a year, you're getting an extra three months of productive work. SubhanAllah. And don't forget that these are not just any hours. These are early morning hours full of barakah and blessings, which will therefore mean they're going to be super productive. Number two, do more than just work. Getting extra time each morning 
gives you the opportunity to fit in other important things in your life without excuses like reciting Quran, studying or exercising. Better spiritual and physical health is of course going to be an advantage as an entrepreneur. Number three, the quietness and freshness of the early morning is actually the best time to think, reflect, plan and strategize. Most entrepreneurs who don't rise early are busy chasing the tail all day long and don't get dedicated time to do any kind of deep thinking and reflection. This can be the difference between thriving or struggling to grow. A common mistake I see a lot of entrepreneurs make is sleeping late. I made this mistake for years. Whether they sleep late because they're doing emails or scrolling on Instagram or watching Netflix, this is a costly mistake because it robs us from the opportunity to wake up early and get a few super productive hours before the world wakes up. When we start the day, we don't want the feeling that we're playing catch up. We want to be able to prepare ourselves and get a strong hold of the day. Sleeping late and waking up late used to always make me feel like I was a step behind and I was chasing my tail all day long. Imagine having an extra two hours every morning before anyone else has woken up. You get to focus on yourself, plan your day, complete important tasks. Some mornings I get more done in two hours than I would have done in six hours during the day. An extra two hours every morning gives you 10 hours extra every week, 40 hours extra every month, and three months extra every year. SubhanAllah. Rising early is something all Muslims should be doing by default. Now let me show you how this Muslim business secret is actually helping people in the mainstream achieve incredible success. Do you know this guy? He is Tim Cook, the CEO of Apple, one of the most valuable companies in the world. And guess what time he wakes up? He starts his day between 3.45 to 4 a.m. Tim Cook begins his day before dawn using the quiet hours to tackle the most important tasks like responding to hundreds of emails, strategizing and preparing for the day ahead. He also prioritizes his health, hitting the gym early morning to maintain the energy levels needed to lead a trillion dollar company. His routine isn't just about work. As you can see, it's also about balance. By waking up early, Tim gains extra hours, hours that most people usually waste. This discipline allows him to stay ahead of the game, making decisions that keep Apple right on top. When I heard about this for the first time, it immediately reminded me of the fact that we as Muslims should be doing the same. Rising early for Tahajjud, rising early for Fajr prayer, starting the day very early and making the most of the barakah of the early hours. Rising early is a Muslim business secret. So let us all harness it and become unstoppable entrepreneurs, inshallah. Now, as promised, here are the practical steps to help you rise early every morning without fail and add an extra 40 productive hours every single month. I've actually struggled with sleeping early and waking up early pretty much my whole life. And these exact steps fix my problem straight away. So number one, set a reasonable bedtime. Work out a bedtime which gives you sufficient sleep for a 5 a.m. or a 6 a.m. start. For me, 11 p.m. is perfect. Ideally, we should follow the sunnah of sleeping soon after the Isha prayer. Number two, enforce the bedtime. Make a commitment to a family member that you will not miss your bedtime. And if you do, you have to pay them a 50 pound fine. This will ensure that you take that bedtime seriously and that it is never missed. Number three, treat yourself. When you wake up at 5 a.m. or 6 a.m. or even earlier, after you have done your prayers and your adhkar, 
treat yourself to celebrate your achievement. It could be a nice coffee, a nice breakfast, a nice walk, anything that you would enjoy and look forward to, inshallah. Follow these steps for the next 30 days and watch how your productivity skyrockets, inshallah. Let me know what results you get. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. So in conclusion, we hear so many famous entrepreneurs and authors talk about the benefits of waking up early. But as Muslims, we should be leading by example. The power of rising early is something people find after years of trial and error or of struggle. But we as Muslims should be doing it by default and we should be using it to our advantage. This is the sort of Muslim business secret that you can see the results of immediately, inshallah. So let us harness it and become unstoppable entrepreneurs, inshallah. If you found this video useful, make sure you check out this video here on how to become the CEO that everybody loves. Until next time, Assalamu Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh.